Hello, welcome back to the channel. And if you're a new time visitor to the channel, I hope you enjoy the content. In the previous video, we covered the LG TV notifications, link in the pop-up above. At the request of a subscriber, we'll be taking a deeper dive into the LG Web OS integration. In this video, we'll extend on this to cover the more advanced features of how to send specific button presses simulating your LG remote to your LG TV. So let's get our hands dirty. So assuming that you followed the link to the TV notification, and now you have WebOS TV installed. If not, you'll need to go and do that now if you want to follow on with the tutorial. Fun fact, there are 254,000 people that have Home Assistant installed, according to the Home Assistant analytics. Of those people, 11.5% of those have the LG WebOS TV integration installed. If we move across into the rankings for those, that means this is the 44th most popular integration with an installation user base of 23,000 people. That's 23,000 of you that are currently using it and a lot more people that are probably want to be using it after watching this video. Okay, so now you have the Web OS TV LG integration installed. So first let's cover how to turn on the TV and also we're gonna cover the Web OS TV buttons. The WebOS TV buttons is a way of passing specific button presses directly to the TV, as if you press the button on the remote. This would be similar to how you would emulate the IR commands sent from the remote control. We've covered this in another video of how to do the Broadlink RM Pro setup in the video a link above, but we'll be doing it direct through the integration in this case. So at the time of recording, we're running on Home Assistant 2023.9.2. So firstly, let's cover how to turn the TV on. This is done via sending a wake on LAN command to the TV. For this, you'll need to be able to add one command to your YAML file. Now this is really simple, but to do this, we'll need to have a file editor. If you don't have one, then watch the video in the pop-up above on how to install Studio Code Server. So let's move across into Studio Code Server and insert the wake on LAN command. Once you've installed Studio Code Server, it will appear on the left-hand side. Navigate to it, go down to your configuration.yaml file and insert this one line, wake underscore on underscore lan colon. The section above, because it has a hash in front of it, means that it's just a comment. Once installed, you can exit out of this. This will tell Home Assistant that you're using the wake on lan functionality. And it will also allow Home Assistant to send a packet of information down to your network to your LG TV. Now let's see how we can use the LG WebOS TV integration to do the more advanced feature of buttons. In the documentation, you'll see it's called WebOS TV dot button. And there's a list of all of the different buttons that you can emulate via using this functionality. This is important as the documentation I found wasn't accurate and that the configuration needed to be varied slightly. But let's go through and have a look at it. Let's create a script now and we're going to send the home button. According to the documentation, we'd go across into automations and scenes, go across into scripts, create a new script, give it a name. Now we add an action as a sequence. We'll call a service, we'll search for WebOS Smart TV button. Scroll down, it asks for an entity. We'll pick our lounge TV in this case, and we'll give it the button of home. As you can see from the description, these are the buttons that can be allocated. And these match in with what is described inside of the documentation. Now let's go and look at the YAML that this creates. Three dots to the right of it, edit in YAML. Go back down. It's a very simple piece of YAML. But if we go across into ones that I have created that do work, you can see that the YAML is slightly different. This option here does work. This option here does not work. Therefore, I'd recommend that you copy the code from the description below and you paste this into the call for WebOS Smart TV button and then change the value associated with the variable button to one of the predefined variables as noted in the documentation. It should then work for you. Moving back to our test button, let's change this code to match what we know does work. And let's change the asterisk to home. Now let's save that. 
let's duplicate this script, change the name to left, and our button variable also to left. And let's save that. Duplicating again, changing this left to right, changing it to YAML, change this also to right, and save that. Now we have our three test scripts for home, left, and right, but we're missing one, how to turn on the LG TV. So to do that, we're gonna utilize the existing ones to keep the naming convention consistent. Pick the home one, duplicate, change the name to turn on. Go down to the service call, delete what's there at the moment, search for wake. Wake on LAN, send magic packet will appear. All we need to do is to populate the MAC address that we got from our TV that we found inside of the first video. Now we can save that script. And now we have all of the scripts that we require to test it out. Let's go and insert these into a dashboard that I've already created. Three dots in the top right hand corner, edit dashboard. We're gonna add a card. We're gonna pick up on an entities card. Scroll down and clear out all the existing ones that are listed. First, we'll have the turn on the TV. Next, we'll select the home. Next, we'll select the left. Next, we'll select the right. Press save. Now, as an added one, and we'll come to this in the demonstration, press add card. Search for media control. Select your lounge TV. Press save. Press done. Now, let's go and test this out. Moving over to our mobile phone, we'll run the wake on LAN command. This will wake up the TV and start it. We can now use the home script. This will bring up our menu. We can now use the left and right scripts to navigate backwards and forwards. And the media control panel at the bottom to turn it off. So there you have it. How to utilize the WebOS LG TV integration to send simulated LG remote button presses to your LG TV from Home Assistant. With the knowledge you've gained, you can now string these together in a script to be able to simulate any action that you could do with your remote control. In the next video, we'll be covering how to build a simulated LG remote within Home Assistant. At this rate, you won't need your LG remote. I hope you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you've not already done so. Then you too can join us on our smart home journey. See you in the next one.